Hello everyone, my name is Sara Gamarra and I'm here to introduce myself since I have never met in person a lot of you who have liked this page. I am the person who takes care of it and who posts on it. Um, I decided to shoot this video today because I was, uh, I was surfing on the page of my voice teacher who is the immense Antonio Yuvarra and he shared a post of one of his uh, other students actually with um, a quote that I will report uh, of a Sioux uh, warrior that spoke about the power of the circle, of the circular shape. You will say, what has, you know, <laughs> so what? what? How does that matter to an opera singer? Well, for example, I was, the first thing that occurred to me was the Cerchietto d'Or, of which Mimi speaks about in, uh, in Don Delieta. Nel mio cassetto, in my drawer, stan chiusi, are locked, you know, are, are cherished. cherished. Um, quel Cerchietto d'Or, that small golden circle, a libro di preghiere and my prayers book. I have spoken a lot about uh, about Mimi and her real name being Lucia and the fact that her name uh, her name is, is Lucia because she has a lot to do with light and with the early uh, light cycle. Mimi and Rodolfo meet on Christmas night. Uh, Christmas is, is, has always been celebrated around the um, winter solstice because uh, it was actually the the it celebrated the rebirth of the sun after after the fall because the days start to. To grow back longer. Hello, she's a bird. Uh, torna al nido, la rondine cinguetta. Torna sola, mimi al solitario, al solitario nido. And you know, torna means that she comes back to, uh, to, to the point where she began. So she actually goes in a circle. And the the name rondine uh, comes from the Latin uh, um, hirundo rustica. In, in Italian, we also call her gironda. Girare means to turn. So the peculiarity, the peculiarity of the swallow is that she goes around all year long. She migrates going around and following the light and the sun. And that's why Mimi does, you know, from the very beginning of, beginning of La Boheme, the fact that um, that moves the entire action, she ran off uh, fire, light. So she went to Rodolfo to ask for light, to ask for fire. That's what, you know, pushes uh, forward and starts the entire action, which will end at the very end of the opera with the light of a candle uh, turning off. Musetta will say, Qui ci vuole un riparo perché la fiamma sventola. It, 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 we need to, you know, we need, we need to protect the flame because it's dangerously wavering. And when the, that flame goes off, uh, Shonar will say, um, Marcello è spirata. So, uh, is, is that Shonar? No, he's the other guy. All this to say that quel cerchietto d'or, so this golden small circle, what is it? I, because I've been thinking about it for years. What can a small golden circle be? What is it a ring? But if it's a ring, why don't she call it a ring? And if it's a ring, why doesn't, you know, Puccini mention that before? Why don't Giacosa and Nilika mention that before? What is this golden circle? What is this small gold golden circle Mimi has? It is only metaphorically and um, uh, archetypically that I could uh, give myself an answer. I believe that the small golden circle is the symbol 
of the sun. Actually, uh, in the golden circle, there is a double symbology. There is a symbology of gold and then there is a symbology of the circle. Gold which of course relates to, to, to the sun, but also to the Euroboros, um, to a metal that is um, uncor um, uncorruptible. Uh, so, il cerchietto d'or e il libro di preghiere. We don't know much about Mimi being a church goer. We, we know that she doesn't go to mass. Uh, a lot, she doesn't go to church a lot, she doesn't attend the mass but she prays a lot the Lord non vado sempre a messa ma prego assai il Signore so of course yeah, I mean um, comprehensively the book of prayers is for her to pray by herself at home but um, at the same time I think that that book of prayer put that close to the golden circle to the small golden circle refers to the sacrality of the whole uh, of the whole thing and now let's go through some uh, some you know fun or unusual facts uh, of Puccini's writing actually this is not typical only of, uh, of Puccini but of a lot of composers we will see that later but in this case Si mi chiamano Mimi. When she goes on Mimi, she actually touches a Mi, an E, in Italian a Mi. And that uh, kind of happens a lot when Puccini is writing. There are a few notes that are really um, important for Puccini. The most important one is the A. In particular, the high A, which can be a, an A flat, but it's she, it's in, and it takes different nuances, whether it's an A flat or or, an, or a natural A or an A. But A in Italian la is the note of eternity. La, you know that in Italian without an accent is the article, the, the feminine singular article with an accent, la, means there. L'aldilà is the beyond, you know, the l'aldilà is the hypothetical um, afterlife world. Whenever Puccini makes a hint to the eternity of life to the eternal cycle of life huh? he goes on a high a every time so big feelings are b's b flats but a is very very peculiar for puccini very last note of la rondina just a, ah, on that la we'll speak about la rondina a lot Mm, but not now. So, Mimi. Mi chiamano Mimi. Si, sì, si sì, is on a mi, and then he goes on, on the upper mi, on the word Mimi. Oh, by the way, uh, Mimi and Rodolfo, I already said, they meet on Christmas night. So, we, we know when, when, when we meet, when they meet, but we also know when they break up, and, or at least when they want to break up. Don Deleta takes place, you know, during winter. We have just had all the, the scene with the snow and so on and right after Donelieta they will say ci lasceremo alla stagione dei fiori so we will break up when the, the season of flowers uh, comes why is that because <laughs> they need to be together during the winter it's February 4 today we are around carnival time and this time of the winter, which is basically the time when Mimi dies, uh, is a peculiar time for opera because there is another uh, very famous uh, famous uh, opera heroine that dies uh, on carnival days, and she is Mimi's mother. She is the mother of all Mimi's, of all swallows and of all flowers, and she's Violetta, of course. She, when she's dying, she you know, they say carnevale in pazza, no? And there, there's carnival outside. Donde lieta uscì al tuo grido d'amore. This grido d'amore, this cry of love. Hmm? 
is actually also prophetic because Bohem ends with a cry. A cry of despair, of course, because Mimi is dead, but also of love. And he will call her, her his little bird, Mimi, no? Por na sola Mimi al solitario nido Ritorna un'altra volta a intesser finti fior this is the other thing. Mimi, just like spring, makes flower. Whenever she doesn't have the real flowers of spring, she has to make the fake ones. Quel cerchietto d'or. He goes in staccato. Quel cerchietto d'or. Il libro di preghiera. So it's, it's that, you know, it, it's important. It's quel cerchietto d'or. We don't know what, what it is, this cerchietto d'or. We don't know why it is so important because it's never been mentioned before. But it's quel cerchietto d'or, il libro di preghiere. So, let's just uh, acknowledge that. But the, the other word I'm going to um, uh, to talk about is the ricordo. So, um, in Latin, cor cordis is the heart, of course. Mm? Il cor, remember, open all the time. Il cor, il cor e il cor. Uh, il ricordo, okay, ritorno, ricordo. They always talk about circular movements, okay? So the ricordo is something that comes back to your heart and to your memory. Recordare, which means to to record to record so to to um, absorb an information that from that moment on in a way can no longer be deleted because it, it keeps coming back and in Puccini we will see uh, there is a lot of uh, there are a lot of referrals to fashion to the way of group of dressing the um, Mimi is uh, uh, Grisette, uh, she's, a, she's a, um, a seamstress. I think Mimi was, was kind of fashionable. She wants the cuffietta rosa, you know, she wants, she's poor, but she, she tries, she, she likes everything that sparkles and so on. Anyway, um, all this to say that there is a precise um, uh, referral to a uh, cape of wardrobe in La Boheme, which actually takes an entire aria. One of the most beautiful I've ever written. Uh, vecchia zimarra. Hmm? Vecchia zimarra, la zimarra, la zimarra is the old coat uh, of uh, colline. When is the aria sung? The aria is sung when Mimi is dying. Okay? When she's at the finish line of her cycle. Right before the lights goes off. The words are vecchia zimarra. My old old coat of mine. Mm? Listen to me. Senti. Io resto al pian. So, <laughs> this is nice because we were talking about me, me on the me note. But it, io resto al pian is also... So io resto al pian means I will stay on the ground floor to ascendere il sacro monte Ordevi while you have to go up, the, again, the sacred, the holy mountain. Mm? Uh, le mie grazie ricevi. I thank you for the service that you have um, provided so far. But it also means io resto al pian. Tu. The pian is also the piano musicale, the dynamics, okay? It's some kind of advice for you resto al pian. No, you resto al pian. Tu ascendere il sacro motore. So, why does he give it away? Okay, we are at the end of the winter. Then the spring will come, we, we may will be born again, the server, whatever. Because, uh, uh, the, you know, you, you don't need coats in the spring. So, it's, he's also saying, you know, this is the time when we... Uh, when we lay down the, the winter uh, the winter wardrobe. And there is even another symbology in the Vecchia Zimarra, because the Vecchia Zimarra, in that moment, is not the coat that is giving to Mimi, but it is Mimi's body as well. It is our body, when we die, that we don't need anymore. And again, the power of, of poetry and of literature Passar nelle tue tasche come in antri tranquilli, filosofi e poeti. 
ora che i giorni lieti fuggir donde lieta ritorna ora che i giorni lieti fuggir ti dico addio fedele amico mio fedele okay, the, the, the wedding ring we call it fede in italian and it's golden and it's circular so actually the only cerchietto d'or one thinks of you know one can think of is you know the the wedding ring okay and why is the wedding ring golden why you know it's circular yes because it's a ring um but it's golden because it's incorruptible and it's it it, it, it needs to symbolize a love that lasts uh Forever. And then, as a conclusion to this video, where we spoke about the cerchietto d'or, we started speaking about the cerchietto d'or, so the, 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 the theme of circularity in opera. I said before I mentioned that Violetta is the mother of all circles, of all mimis, of all birds, of all migrators, of all flowers. Violetta, of course. She's French. She's just, there, there are a lot of themes in common we'll have to speak a lot about. We We spoke about the, the gironda, the hirundo, okay, the going around, the merry-go-round, because going around is merry, okay, the, the secret of happiness is the, in the going around, the very last verse of Dante's Paradise is l'amor che muove il sole e l'altre stelle, love that makes the sun and the, the, the other stars go around the sun again, so it kind of you is you know the most important thing of life this merry going around this merry cycle that um doesn't repeat itself mm, but recreates itself regenerates itself and she says um sola abbandonata in questo popoloso deserto sola perduta abbandonata again themes you know the, the relatives with puccini she's the mother of her the father herons but don't make me lose track of what I was saying. So what is the what is what is the solution to this? Hmm? Che far de zio? What should I do? Gioir. O gioia, she will uh, she will exclaim at the very end of her life. Huh? Uh, she, she she feels like she's coming back to life o gioia. Now. The word gioia comes from the Latin gaudium, okay, of gal, gol, which is in, in Arabic and in, in Hebrew, uh, and it means to spin, okay, uh, you know, like the, 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 the dervish do, or like, even, even, even dogs do when, when they're happy, they go around, they spin, okay, so, uh, sempre libera, de gio, Folleggiare di gioia in gioia, di gioia in gioia. Nasca il giorno, il giorno muoia, sempre, all the time. Lieta, again, this lieta, this joy. Lieta is a synonym of, of, of gioia, no? Letizia and gioia are the same. So, Letizia is a way, donde lieta, usci, uh, ora che i giorni lieti fuggir, we just said. So, um, sempre lieta nei ritrovi, nei ritrovi, ritrovi, eh? ritrovi, I don't even have to say that anymore. A diletti sempre nuovi devo volar il mio pensiero. Gioir, everybody. Ciao, see you next time.